Hello everybody and welcome back once again to another episode of Timberborn. So in this episode we are gonna have the grand opening for the aqueduct. At least uh, I hope we will be able to do so. So uh, once again we are created here by our brave uh, beaver Timmy and he's gonna help us in this in this project to get this aqueduct finished. Once again I'm really sorry for confusing my terminology before as well. Um, now, let me just pause for one second. Uh, there have been a lot of comments about, um, hey, why did you, um, uh, why did you spend so much resources and time in building this some sort of a double dam over here that's supposed to be an aqueduct? And why are we blocking this uh, water in here? And it will be much cooler to let it run through. So, um, unfortunately, the game does not allow you to place levees on top of platforms so what I mean is if I place these uh, platforms down here and then we go and pick one of those levees as you can see it's in red I'm trying to click on this but it's um yeah we can't place them we can only place them on ground or on top of other levees now with the dams uh, same thing over here uh, they can be placed on levees though but once we get one of those down we cannot put a levee on top of the dam Right, so that is the reason why um, it is what it is, I suppose. I mean, of course, I would have uh, loved to do it by having platforms here and uh, and allowing the water to pass through as well. But unfortunately, um, we were not able to do this. All right, now, so with that being out of the way, the um, uh, back to the aqueduct uh, project over here. So, of course, a couple of things I need to mention first. The goal, obviously, is to fill up this lake over here, and it has two levels. Uh, one is a little bit deeper, one is a little bit higher. So, yeah, two two levels. So, we're going to have to uh, blow up this canal over here to allow water to pass through. And I'm thinking we're most likely going to put um, one of those floodgates in uh, in here to so we can control the flow. Uh, right, so a couple of things we need, uh, other things we need to do in preparation of, in preparation of that is uh, we need to empty these storages here. And we are going to have to relocate this hauling post as well. However, I think we're not going to really need the hauling post anymore. Um, of course, we also have to have this completed in here. The last section of the of the aqueduct. And then um, another thing we have to do is the, um, the height of this area uh, is about the same. Let me think how I can explain it the best. Right, so the highest part of District 3, which is here, is the same height as as the, the, the side over here. This is one, on the right side of the bank here, it is one step lower. So, if we want to flood the District 3, uh, the lake in there, by two levels, uh, we are going to flood this whole area over here. Uh, so, in order to not do that, we are going to have to get rid of some of those trees in here. And on top of that, we also have to uh, raise up those walkways just by one. So let me just get this preparation done real quick. We've queued this up and now we're going to tell our, our builders that, uh, hey, this is a priority. Uh, the next thing, we are going to have to get rid of all those, unfortunately, as well. And same... Uh, you know what? Uh, actually, for the time being, I think we can just pause them. Because they're not in our way, except this one here. And the rest we will delete. And one more section. Uh, one more. Okay, cool. Uh, so now that this area is, is um, marked for demolition and um, once it's cleared up, we will start queuing up some levees there as well. Now, another thing we uh, I almost forgot about was that uh, because the connection to our waterway is... Let me just break this down a little bit. Is, is over here. We are going to have to provide this another uh, source of, or 
access point of water. And I was thinking it's going to be here. So for that, we're going to queue up some dynamite. Uh, so that way, we are going to give all this whole area fertile. Yeah, that, that's exactly what I wanted to say. Uh, cool. Let's uh, speed up the time just a tiny bit. And you know what? Let's let's prioritize this a little bit as well. Auto save. There we go. And when it comes to our builder huts, do we have the maximized? Oh, we could do a few more workers in here. And now let's start putting in some some of those levees. We need. Uh, wait, let's go up a little bit more. And then another one. Actually, a couple of these things might be in our way. So, you know what? Let's let's just get rid of them. I think there was a faster way. Uh, yep. Okay. Um, they are still using this one. And same with here. So, how about couple of these in platforms will make you a slightly bit higher priority as well and we are also gonna need dynamite in here so let's put one over there and the same thing just a uh, two more platforms in this location right so we've got a few jobs queued up oh they've already cleared this area Actually, yeah, let's um, start queuing up a few of those levies. You, let's make you a high priority. So we have to do them one by one. And here we can do so. Uh, right, so whilst the beavers are busy building, we still got a couple of uh, levies over there. Um... In one of the previous episodes, I asked you for, uh, for some suggestions for for how should we name those districts. Uh, so there's been a few entries already, uh, but I thought I'd uh, just put a quick reminder and uh, probably in the next episode we'll have some proper names on our districts as well. So the ones we have uh, so far for District 3, which is here, uh, Stuart said that uh, this should be called Lake Tahoe. Uh, which makes perfect sense. Uh, I didn't know much about this lake, so I had to Google it up. And uh, honestly, some of those photos look pretty amazing. Uh, and I think, if I remember correctly, I saw some mountains in the background as well. So I suppose these ruins over here could be mountains in a way. Or maybe District 1, just another mountain in the distance, really. Uh, then we also had an entry from Ernest Lamb, who said that this one should be called a Super Bowl. Um... Uh, which is also a very, very fun name. Uh, so thank you very much, Stuart. Then from uh, Dwayne, uh, he was saying this should be called the Oasis Plateau, uh, which I suppose makes make, makes really good sense as well, uh, because it's, it is going to turn into a little oasis surrounded by this uh, uh, barren land over there. And then the final entry for this district over here was from Fe uh, Federico Violino, and uh, he said we should call it the Donut Lake, uh, sorry, Mountain Donut Lake, because the, uh, it sort of looks like a donut, and uh, he's, he's very right. Uh, then, uh, yeah, those are the entries for District 3. Then for District 2, uh, Dwayne um, said that this could be called Peninsula Fields, uh, which is also a very fitting name since all this is going to be farmland over here. Most of it is already. Uh, so, yeah. And then District 1, again, Wage, thank you uh, very much for uh, submitting names for all the uh, three districts. And for the first one, he um, uh, suggested that we should call it the Crescent Heights. Uh, right, so those are the entries so far. If you have some ideas for for these districts, then do, uh, do post it in the comments and uh, I'll look through, uh, consolidate it, and then we can pick out the, the ones that we want to wanna name them. All right, um... Now, yeah, let's speed up the time a little bit, get this stuff built, we'll go back into this mode. Another thing I do want to do 
in this episode is to patch up this farmland. It's a yeah, it's a little patchy over here, so uh, a few more farms actually down here as well. But I will queue it up later because we got higher priorities right now, like uh, this levy over here. And then let's see, can we increase uh, please on them ones too? And here we're going to have a road. Another double levy stack, I believe. Yes. And somewhere here doing the same thing, really. Okay, maybe even faster so we can get this built a little bit quicker. Uh, quickly checking the dam. Yep, still a little bit left. Are these empty now? Yes, they are. So we can delete you and you. Nice. Uh, oh, yeah. These dynamites are already ready. So, And now they're gone. These two as well. And now we got this perfect canal over here. Um, which means... Don't think we want it any deeper. Yep. So the platform can go here. I'm thinking we'll do... Just to future-proof ourselves. We'll do another dynamite. So we can put a triple floodgate in here. So if for some reason we wanted to deepen this canal in the future, that way we would, would be set. Actually, then I should do it here as well. Yeah, that would be smart, I think. Okay, moving back across the other one. Uh, we got a few things in place already. So that is nice. We can queue up some more levees. In the corners like so. And I think... Oh, wrong click. Same in here as well. And one more in here. We're almost done with this corner. Perfect. Now patch up these corners too. And let's see how much time... Oh, it's almost night time. Okay. So that way we're, we're not going to destroy this section just yet because the beavers are about to go to sleep and let's raise the corner bits okay we're nearly there just a little bit more right the dynamo oh, oh no 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 wrong detonate and then we can do one more i think that was already a triple floodgate yes it was okay so that's good now, I think in one of the previous episodes, I did also mention that I wanted to raise the level, well, yeah, raise it up in the middle here as well, uh, by building more levees, but I'm just thinking because it's such a narrow canal, I don't think we're going to need to do this, uh, because the volume going through here is not going to be that high, so that was really just wasted resources there, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to leave them, leave them be. Okay. Let's uh, take a look. Are they already... Yeah, we got a few more in place. Good. Very good. Oh, yep. We are going to need two in there as well. So let's give you a high priority. Now, we are going to have to delete this link. Uh, nope, that is, that is not what we wanted there. Uh, we want smaller one and hmm okay, you need to go same with this road here we are gonna need mm, like so I believe right yeah that looks about right and now because it's a very important link here we'll give you the highest priority cool Similar thing is going to happen here. But I'm just going to let them finish this section here first. Uh, wait. Ooh, our water is doing super bad. So, let's... Um, maybe let's quickly check that the rest of the our colony is fine as well. Uh, that's flooded. Okay, so that's why our water is going low. These are completely submerged over there. And uh, these we can't reach. And I think these are still running, right?
Yep, that's all good. Okay, almost done in this section here. How much time? We still... Okay, we still have a lot of time left, so... I'm hoping we can finish this here too. Which means... Uh, wait, I need to delete this first. The new... And the roads. Come on. And... Two more levees stacked like so. And a little ladder there. Connect it up to the roads. And give it the highest priority, please, as well. And there's one hiding down there, I believe. Yep. Okay, fantastic. Really hoping they're gonna complete... Uh, what? What? Uh, one second. Get out of there. Come on. Oh, right. Um, they are proper stuck in there. Uh, great. Okay, well, hopefully we'll get this levy in place there quick. Yep. I'm finishing, finishing the construction of that. And now the beaver should be able to escape. Cool. Did both of you get out from there? No, there's still one silly beaver. And he's gone as well. Right. Uh, just a minor setback, but that is okay. Let's give you the highest priority. I'm not so convinced we'll be able to complete this before nighttime, but let's let us see how it goes. Ooh, yeah, almost nighttime. At least one of them is done. So that's good. Let's check the progress on here as well. Yep, very close to finish that. And now let's detonate these two. We are going to need the triple floodgate in here. I believe that's how we wanted it. And another triple to put the road in there. Uh, maybe prioritize this. Okay. Um, nice. So they just managed to finish this section here, which is perfect. Yeah, water is not doing good. Um, might have to come up with an alternative solution here. What can we do? How much water do you guys have? Mm, but they're also supplying the upper colony here. Uh, do, 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 do. do you know what? Mm, could put a few here. Not a long-term solution, but it might be just what we need for a little while. And with the roads, we can do something like this. It's only a temporary solution, really. Uh, Alright, nice. So those dynamites are done as well, so uh, don't walk on this. Okay, good. And then we can set a low priority on on this here. Is that how we wanted to do it? Yeah, I suppose we did. Well, it's done. So I guess it's gonna go from here now. And the same thing. Let's extend the low priority for those platforms. And speed up the time a little bit as well. Uh, right, damn, oh, just a little bit more, guys. We're almost there. Uh, let's hope there won't be another trout coming in anytime soon. And almost forgot, but we're going to have to do the same thing here. To connect it up. Alright, a few more levees in those strategic locations. Let's just double check. Yep. Good. Nice corners. Uh, yep. That is all good as well. Uh, so that means it's just this section here. Alright. Can we just have a slightly higher priority in all this? And same with all, all of you.
Oh, another dynamite. Nice. And we are going to have to do the same here. Let's just make sure it's raised up. Uh, what do we need? Dynamite. It's over here. Give you a slightly higher priority too. Um, okay, so let's get this completed over here. So that's the final bridge that needs to be done. Uh, so we're going to need the staircase. And another set of levy. And one more platform as well. And now it's all connected. Priority, always the highest. Alright, go beavers. How are we doing here? Nearly, nearly done. Just a little more push, guys. T only two more levies left. And please get this done too. Right, and then we also need dynamite. And we still have some. Okay, that is perfect. Also high priority. Maybe it's all the... Ah, oh, come on. <sighs> okay, we're gonna pretend we didn't see Jul... Jul Jin. Yeah, we did not see her there. I'm sorry. No one saw her. Nothing happened. Right, few more levies. It uh, seems we're gonna need one more day. We got the resources in. Or I was gonna say most of them, but no. Some of them. And then... Uh, just one more levy in here. Uh, build progress almost done. Explosive is in. One more explosive and then we're good to go, really, yeah. Okay, it's almost morning. Beavers will be will be waking up very, very shortly. And then our construction team, I must say the, the, the brave construction team, they have really put a lot of sweat and effort into, into this dam. Honestly... I do not know how many days it's taken us, but it's going to be magnificent. Dynamite's in place. Let's hope no one dies. No one died this time. <clears throat> and we're going to need one more. Bloodgate is in place. Let's lower it down. Uh, yep, there's still no one there. And same with this dynamite. Oh, we're going to need one more aren't we yes we are okay come on guys and girls let's get this final one in place all the bridges are done just one more levy a few more logs needed and yeah I'm gonna drop you here as well and I think are they connected they are and the water is rising, and it's going down. Uh, what happened? Hello? Beavers? Water? No, we're not flooding anything. Uh, did I mess something up? No, it's still going through. And there it goes. Just filling up. I guess it's going to take a little bit of time. Yeah, that is looking magnificent. Let's detonate you as well. And now we wait. Yep, that's looking beautiful. Just wanna, I'm, I'm really worried that we've missed a link somewhere and uh, that's rising very fast. Um, okay, so now it's coming through here as well. Okay, that's that's alright. It's still going through. It is, it's just filling up this massive dam. I mean, it's got so many levels. What is it, like 2, 4, 6, 8... 
and some some sections are even higher so yeah it's gonna take a little bit of time and i think we're not gonna flood anything fingers crossed god this is so exciting we're nearly there you can just see it creeping up well it was at least uh yeah quick auto save wait what is up now what is going on Okay, I guess it's just going to take a little bit more time, uh, which is okay. Should we lower this even further? That is the question, and I think we'll just preemptively do it before we put any platforms over it. And let's give you a slightly high priority as well. Okay, I guess one more day and... Oh, there it is. a little bit more and we can see this land turn fertile already water is not quite in yet but it's we're almost there guys and girls oh this is so exciting yep just a tiny bit more come on and there it is And that is just magnificent. Oh, look at that. That answers my another question. So, yes, if it... If the land becomes fertile, those ruins will have some vegetation on it as well. So that is good to know. Oh, we forgot something. Uh, yep. Yeah, sorry. You're out from here. Ah. <sighs> it feels very nice that it has paid off uh, we lost some water in here but it's okay the amount of time it's taken to build us the preparation the hard work has finally paid off and now it does sort of look a little bit like a mountaintop oasis, doesn't it? Ah, oh, that is just so beautiful. Honestly, I think we're going to keep those ruins in there. That's what I'm thinking. I hope we can uh, scavenge some metal from elsewhere. But, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'll, we want to keep those there. Um, but with that being done... That is going to be the end of this episode. So once again, thank you very much everyone for, uh, for joining this time. And uh, I do hope to see you once again.